Okay, so just a disclaimer. I am not trying to brag. So I don't want to see those haters in the comments going like, this person's lying. He made it up. Hey yeah, it's Hayden and welcome back to the Hayden Chronicles. So today, I've been wanting to do this for a while and basically I just didn't want to feel like I was bragging, which like I said in my disclaimer, that is not the goal here. I am trying to inform people on YouTube of, you know, how people that need money as even just teenagers in general that need money, this is an actual opportunity that you can do. So I'm going to split this video into three parts and part one will be like how I grew as a YouTuber, part two is kind of my tips and part three will be how I made my money and how you can make your money. Also, if you don't want to watch the entire video, I get it. In the description, I'll leave some times if you're looking for a specific part. For example, most of you probably just want to hear about the money and that's totally okay. I understand that's what this video is supposed to be about. I just thought I would give some tips as well. You're probably looking at my subscribers and you're like, he has 370. I don't think he's telling the truth. I did not make my money off this channel. I actually made it on my other channel, Every Share Review. You may have actually seen that channel and not even known that it was me. A lot of people at my school have seen it and they're like, oh, that was you, or they'll realize midway through the video that it's me. One of my most popular videos got to almost 5 million views and it was like Jesse Dark Secrets and I did it over the summer. So throughout the year I really grew very quickly, so I'm going to tell you guys kind of my story, how I did all that. Also, if you're new to my channel, because a lot of people probably will, I'm hoping this video will be my most popular one. Welcome, my name is Hayden. I have some shows on YouTube called Jacob Hudson and Gracie 101. We are currently on like winter break for both the shows, but they'll be back in 2018 for new episodes and also the first two seasons are available on youtube.every show you can also check them out in the description down below but watch this video first so i'm still trying to find myself as a youtuber on this channel but like i said every show review every show official i think i've really found myself um so if you don't like this side of my personality then you can go back to a video that i made about a few months ago and you'll see a completely different person anyway so let's get into my video so so I started every share of you. My first video was posted February of 2016, I believe. I started the channel in October of 2015, and that's when we filmed our first video. Originally, every share of you was just like reviews of shows, and obviously those videos didn't do very well. I think I got like to like maybe a hundred hundreds of views would be my average view count. Um, if I posted a video a weekly, maybe in like two weeks, it'd be two or three weeks, it'd be a hundred views. And that was like if a video did well. So then I continued doing every share review. It was my channel with the least amount of subscribers. My channel with my shows had more views. I never really knew what was gonna happen with that channel. I was just kind of finding myself as I made videos. It was really fun. And then I continued to make videos. I think it was around January or February. So my first series over reviews ended because I do series on the channel. I do 10 videos in a playlist and that would be like a season or like a series that I would do. So my first series was reviewing and I finished that one up and I was working on my next one and I decided I wanted to do dirty jokes and kids shows so which you might have seen has really trended in the last few months and yeah I do believe that I started the trend and before you go all crazy like no you didn't uh, I did my first dirty joke video was over iCarly and again you've probably seen a lot of dirty jokes in iCarly since my video was kind of popular. It was my first video to reach 10,000 views, and I think it took a month or so to get that far, but for me that was really good. I'd never reached 10,000 views on that channel. I had reached 10,000 views on my other one, but that's a completely different story. So I continued doing dirty jokes, but at the same time I was also doing facts and then and now and kind of like a bunch of different things. Again, I was still trying to find myself like I am on this channel. So as I continued to find myself, I started doing new things, and my first video that did really well was 50 Facts in Grey's Anatomy. So I'd never done 50 Facts before, and at the time, it was like a big deal for me. I could not imagine someone doing, because there was other channels that were doing like 107 Facts. I was like, I do not have time for that. I don't know how those people can do that. So I spent like three weeks <laughs> Coming up with 50 facts about Grey's Anatomy because I knew that show was popular and it had not been done on YouTube. I stress, it had not been done on YouTube. That is the thing, I see videos all the time of people literally copying each other. That's not smart, come up with your own original ideas. Many people have copied my videos and I hate it, it is so annoying. I'm going to be doing a video over that soon because literally, recently someone has 
not only copied my entire video, but also literally didn't even change the thumbnail and it was a channel with a million subscribers. These are adults and I am 15 years old, guys. So they saw a 15 year old doing well and they realized that they had more subscribers. They took advantage of that. They stole my video ideas, remade them, and didn't even change the thumbnail. The channel is called The Things. Again, I'm trying to do a video over that soon. I've just been really busy with finals and everything, but I've talked about that before. Back to this video. So I continued making videos. After 50 Facts About Grey's Anatomy, I started to gain a bit of a community. I don't even think I had a thousand subscribers at this point. I think my 50 Facts video like did pretty well, like maybe a thousand views, but for me that was really good. Again, this was before everything happened, because everything happened really quickly. So it was February of 2017, like seven, eight months ago. Not that long ago. So I was trying something new again, and I decided to do Disney Channel kids that need to act their age. I had been wanting to do this for a while, I just knew it was kind of offensive and that it was kind of a controversial subject that people were like, people were going to get mad about and I didn't want to destroy the community that I had built, even though it wasn't a very big community. So I worked really hard on the video and I posted it and overnight it got like 30,000 views. This was the most successful video, I think, at the time, maybe of all of my channels. I know 30,000 views isn't amazing now. I mean, it's still pretty good. But for a starting YouTuber, I was only 14 at the time, so that was pretty good. And the video kept going viral, and I remember checking it at school because that this was at this point I was new to YouTube so every little thing like really counted to me even when I just got a few comments that meant so much to me so I had my phone out and I was looking at views in my French class bragging about like oh my video did well and then I continued working on that channel weekly like really hard and I started posting more dirty joke videos and those videos went viral and it got to the point where I was gaining like 500,000 views weekly you guys like I'm not exaggerating and then my old videos started to become more popular because I would put at the end of my videos a link to some of my other ones and people would start checking those out so my channel just kind of really quickly started to spiral and grow and I got to like 50,000 subscribers at the end of my freshman year it was crazy I had so much fun with it um, and then came kind of the depressing side of YouTube which was when your videos stopped trending so this happened in the summer which was weird because I always thought the summer would be a more popular time for my videos, but no, this was about May or June. I don't think I ever stopped posting videos, but I was going on a bunch of vacations and stuff, so I didn't spend that much time making them. So I posted like four videos that would only get like maybe 10,000 or 50,000 views. And this at this point, I had reached a million views on one of my videos, and I was just really feeling well about myself. So it was very depressing to see it all kind of stop, but in just about a month, it started picking up again more than ever, and I got like that one video that became really popular, got to like 5 million views. It was insane and crazy and it was very fun and again back in September and October my videos kind of stopped again and recently they've been picking up more and more. So yeah, that's kind of my story on YouTube and if you don't believe me you can go check out Every Share Review, the channel. Link in the description. Also just search up Every Share Review. I'll probably edit that to make it a lot shorter than how long I spent just talking about it because honestly like I just realized you don't really need to hear my whole story on YouTube. I'm just kind of trying to help you. Okay, so that was a bit on my experience with YouTube part one. Now now let's get into part two. Okay, so here are my tips and tricks if you're trying to start a YouTube channel. I'll do this as quickly as possible because honestly I could do a whole video about that and that's not what this video is about, so bear with me. I'm getting to the part about the money. So personally, I really think, and it's one of the most important things on YouTube, is that you be yourself. That is how you're going to have fun on YouTube. Maybe have some inspirations of YouTubers that you want to be like, and that's totally fine. Like I have those people too, but don't be a straight up copy of them. I hate hate when I see people straight up copy a YouTube channel and a lot of them even admit to it that still doesn't make it okay be yourself that is what people want to see they want to see your personality they don't want to see a bunch of different types of personalities and when you're starting YouTube your personality will most likely change and trust me I'm totally guilty for that as well but once you find yourself be yourself in your videos and also have fun don't come into it thinking of it as a job yes I'm saying it can be and that you can make money from it, but don't just do it for views and money. Like, that's not what YouTube's about. Now, there are some certain scenarios where maybe you wanted to do videos over videos that you really think should be on YouTube for the purpose of making money. Also, make videos about stuff you watch on YouTube that you're interested in and build a relationship with your fans or friends. Do not call them 
some of your fans because that is super degrading and a horrible thing and I try to avoid that as much as possible because honestly I don't really have many fans as it is but having a connection with your viewers and also interacting with them in the comment section is a great way to build a community on YouTube and a community is very important. Okay that is part two let's get into part three the exciting part that you've all been waiting for about how to make money from YouTube. So I found out about making money from YouTube I think the first few months I had started. Basically there's this thing called AdSense on YouTube. There are a few other ways to make money off YouTube but that's the main way. For example you can also be part of like a network or make videos for a specific type of group but there are limitations with doing that. My friend actually did that and stopped YouTube because people were telling him the specific videos he had to make and he may have gone into wanting to make those types of videos but once you start you can't stop. For instance if you wanted to do gaming and then you decide later that you wanted to do cooking they won't let you because you signed on to do specifically gaming you would have to shut down your channel so there's other ways of getting money but AdSense is the best way and the way that I personally use so if you want to find out the process for actually making the money off AdSense it's not that complicated but I would look it up on YouTube because it's like a bunch of billing and information that like I don't want to talk about it's estimated that every a thousand views is one dollar that's not always true though I've made a lot more and I've made a lot less less so it can completely vary but yeah I've personally made over ten thousand dollars from it and that was a while ago I'm sure I've made a lot more since but I don't want to get too into it because again that's not the purpose of this video I'm kind of just doing it for the views so if you're into it and you're angry that I'm not telling you specifically how to get AdSense set up first start your channel gain a community and then start making the money from AdSense like I said do videos that you think will be popular videos that you would watch not videos that are clickbait but videos that that have titles that a lot of people would want to click on and not just a specific group and you'll be on your way in YouTube so I'm not going to tell you guys specifically how to work AdSense because that is kind of a complicated process that's constantly changing so look up a video that's more currently telling you how to work it It's pretty easy, but you do have to sign some contracts online and set up a banking system for you to gain the money. But it is legitimate and I have made the money. And that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned some stuff about AdSense and making money from YouTube and YouTube in general. I hope you learned some stuff about YouTube. It can be a job, but it also should be for fun. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out some more of my videos. Check out the latest episode of my show, Jake and Hudson. Subscribe to my channel. I'm Hayden and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. On the run, driving in the sun, looking out for number one, California, here we come.